So now we're jumping on the Valhalla V46, as you can see right behind me, paired with quad Mercury Vrado V12, 7.6 liter, 600 horsepower outboards, totaling 2,400 total horsepower. Absolutely incredible combination. We're gonna loop you around, show you this boat a little bit, and see how it performs with the new outboards. Everybody tucked in, ready to go. There you have them. Purring like kittens, and that's a lot of horsepower back there, ladies and gentlemen. as usual we have Chris Landry sir I'm sorry I didn't get your Travis name Hayes. Travis Hayes so we're gonna run him up and down Lake X to test this boat Ryan what have you seen so far anything uh, what would you like to highlight it's incredible I mean the uh, low and torque out of the hole is phenomenal when you're up at cruise speed and you, you drop it the wide open throttle I mean it just kind of sets you back and then what's really amazing is how quiet the engine is how smooth it shifts um, with the joystick tied in with the smooth smoothness of the shifting i mean the joystick is flawless um it's it's a very impressive package all right very good let's run it a little bit all right see it in person let's roll so on the hole here i mean this is just super incredible everybody holding on to get on one backing up or whatever it's just it's so smooth and then with the with the dual props it just like there's like no cavitation it, it just goes man. god so strange to see those engines not not oh, moving yeah. from where they're at like right now what you're doing is making me dizzy yeah. like i'm so not used to it that's the hardest thing it's, to get used to it's cool though it's I, I like, I mean, I think the idea is brilliant. Wanted to prove a point here. This one was set up with quads just because they wanted to, but triple engines might be a great option as well. So we're actually gonna pop one up and see how it performs with three. Now, obviously this, is, this isn't the optimal setup. You know, you get triple outboards, you center them obviously on the transom, but we'll get an idea of what, what it can do.
one question I actually had driving up here is how are you going to know which direction your rudder is facing if your outboards are always stationary in that straight position? You're going to see on the uh, vessel view here, we have uh, our rudder angle indicator up top. So that's giving your uh, reference. Now another, another cool trick, uh, you know, if you're coming into a dock, bring her into neutral and just go ahead and tap the joystick and that's going to center your drives. It just lines you up straight. That lines at you zero. up straight if you want to, you know, use your controls to dock the boat, or of course the uh, the smoothness of the joystick. It's hard not to use this. Yeah. You guys ready? So now that we took a spin on this, we hit what? Almost 74 miles yeah, an 74. hour. You guys have gotten up to 75 even uh, over the weekend here. So Ryan's gonna take us on a quick run through of the boat interior so you can check that out as well. So Ryan, go ahead and take it away. Yeah, yeah. up forward we have our uh, stainless plow anchor option with windlass. Um, you can see we have a really nice uh, raised deck here for fighting the fish, just a nice comfortable height. Uh, the teak package here to show the step. Uh, forward seating with the release jump seat backs. Uh, really nice bench seat here forward of the lounge, but underneath it we have a pitch well that's about 35 gallons. Um, there's a nice contour with our lounge seating for yeah. two to three people. That looks um, comfortable. Then we, we wanted dedicated spots for all our, all our equipment. So, you know, you have stuff like uh, your dive ladder built in, starboard sides a rope locker, uh, seven foot rod lockers port and starboard side I'll pop one of these open real quick just yeah. this one's not rigged out oh, okay you saw in hole one right yeah yeah and at the helm we have uh two 86 17 inch garments uh port and starboard and then center we have the 86 22. uh you'll just see a extremely clean layout uh we do have the air conditioning option uh forward here at the helm and then air conditioning blowing on the second row as well uh, just with the clean design of our, our consoles. We have things like USB charging ports inside the uh, radio boxes. We keep our mics in here so you don't have the cords all over the dash. Uh, really cool valving system for our, our, our fuel manifold. So each engine has an electric switch to change each engine from tank to tank without having to go in a build, right. and, you know, change a manual Very nice. valve. Um, no, this, this, this console is always seemed to me as one of the cleaner ones out there and you can see there's a 46 foot boat not a tall guy and and the visibility is phenomenal and this enclosure you guys did here you know really turned out nice it's a, a piece of artwork besides Thank being you. you know very functional extremely and for us short guys <laughs> <laughs> there we go if you need it you have a little hidden raised uh step Ah. Under visibility, not that you need it. Actually, no, you I'm, definitely don't need it. I'm five eight, and I can see that I never lose sight of the horizon yeah. at all on this boat. That's well, good to have. Um, you know, molded in footrest here, but you have electric slides, so you know if you have shorter legs, so you can your feet mm -hmm. land on the footrest. Right. Just really fine details on this second row. What we did is we we raised the uh, seating module height three inches, so you have clear visibility over the console uh, looking forward when you're up on plane. So it's just, you know, easy to get up into with the molded in footrest and uh, just extremely functional. Yeah, extremely comfortable. I mean, these, these, these release marine chairs are beautiful oh, and awesome. super comfortable. And yeah, you've elevated these up so the visibility from here is phenomenal and running on a beast like this, it doesn't matter if you're in, you know, four to sixes, you're gonna be comfortable in this space right here. Oh yeah. All right. This seating unit has a tremendous amount of uh, tackle space in it. You know, we have uh, three tackle drawers on each side, and then a really cool uh, Plano box uh, storage with a little rigging flat here, and a very large tackle drawer center. Um, as an option, we also have uh, two refrigerated uh, cooler boxes in this mezzanine seat. You feel that cold air coming out of there. 
and then just really, really large in-deck fish boxes. And all five of our deck boxes are all insulated, so any of these deck boxes hold ice really well. All right. So you guys split these up to two live wells now on the 46? Yeah. yeah, on the 46 we went to, we offer this as an option with two 54 gallon live wells. Uh, you can, you know, some of our Northeast boats that troll a lot and just want to use it as a kill box. It's basically like a hundred and I think 25 gallon uh, kill box. Okay, and this is a 13.4 beam, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay, so. And you really feel it here in the cockpit. Yeah, definitely. It's a massive cockpit. A lot of room, you got these monster V12s. <laughs> sitting behind us which incredible to see i mean the size and the power but these things running and we try to get some video up close i literally stuck the gopro in between these engines just so you can hear or actually not hear all this you know 2400 horsepower really not not making much of a sound at all and even with the joystick control you're not hearing that clanging that banging that you normally would hear with some of these joysticks and just having that uh lower unit doing the work makes a lot more sense than trying to swing you know these large outboards around so they did an excellent job said you're seeing you know 70 73 to 75 with quads triples you can probably you know with we're the right thinking, configuration yeah we're thinking it's going to be with triples probably 68 to 69 um so we're you know i'm sure we're going to see a lot of that package yeah as well. i imagine that 46 foot 13 4 center console with triples on it doing you know high 60s yeah exactly. <laughs> incredible all right, Ryan, thank you very much. Yeah, well, let's make our way back in, see if we mess with that joystick a little bit let's and it. call it a day. But thank you very yeah, much, as you. always, for your time. mention a couple of details of the V12 600 Verado uh, to add to our sea trial. Just wanted to show you how the maintenance work. The whole point of this thing is to be sturdy, for the maintenance to be easy, and here are a couple of features. You can do the first service, which happens at 200 hours, not the standard 100, just with this hood, which is also removable. I'm not gonna do it here, but you don't have to touch this cowling until you, until you hit 1,000 hours, which is incredible. You have the ins and outs of all your fluids, your oil, transmissions. You can actually do your entire maintenance with the boat sitting here in the water just like this. You don't have to haul it out. Another incredible point. Your alternators back here, 30% more charge capability and just an incredible cowling all together. You close this thing up and actually even with it open, it doesn't sound that loud, but this is a 7.6 liter V12, which is incredibly powerful and incredibly quiet. Actually, probably just as quiet, if not more quiet than the new V8 300, which we have on our boat. They integrated the steering as well into the outboards. So you can see that paired with the little drop back angle here on the transom allows you to install these 27 inches on center. So you actually add a lot more transom space compared to some of the competitors out there. All in all, incredible engine. You have the steerable gear case underneath, which is doing all the work. You're turning and these engines are stationary. You have that gear case that goes up to 30 degrees in each direction and different than the others the uh, actual joystick allows you to get up to 45 degrees so the maneuverability on this outboard and this configuration is even better than the standard and just imagine you're moving less weight just by moving that gear case underneath and then you have that dual prop setup which gives you tremendous torque and power so just a click of a button moves this boat in the direction you want it to go super smooth super quiet super impressive and those are just some of the features that they wanted to integrate into this v12 we wanted to mention and add to the overall sea trial here so there you have it
concludes our sea trial and walkthrough on the incredible Valhalla Boatworks V46 paired with the brand new 7.6 liter V12 Mercury Barato 600s. If you enjoy and value the content we are creating, please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel, share with your friends. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of these Valhallas with this setup and we look forward to it. So thank you guys for your time and we'll see you again soon.